Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 24 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. So today the big projects are we are having seed corn and seed soybeans delivered. We're going to put those in the big machine shed. Jamie and Nate should be here in a little bit. And Ron is going to get this old hopper bottom pad ripped out. There's like 85 yards of concrete, so like nine concrete trucks worth of concrete here. So it's a lot. So he's got his thousand pound weight right now. He just keeps picking it up and dropping it. It's just a giant wrecking ball. I have one that goes on the front of the skid loader, a jackhammer. I'm gonna grab the skid loader, we're gonna get that hooked up, we're gonna try to break out the middle because it's thinner there, and then hopefully we can get the outside pulled apart. Your favorite, favorite, favorite camera crew man. Am I being served papers? Just delivery tickets. Now we got all the seed unloaded. We got boxes and boxes and boxes. It always amazes me how much fit in those semi trailers. But we need to get everything out of the big machine shed. We got the planters trapped all the way at the back. 16 rows over there, 24 rows over there. But then we're gonna stack all our seed along this wall. So that way this spring, we can just pull in here with the seed tender. We can load everything nice and easy. Whoa, boy. No mosquitoes in here. That's pretty good when Mean Gene, the old fighting machine, starts right up. What a bummer! Cole has you just watching nothing. There's nothing going on here. The camera's running. What's wrong with you, Cole? People want to see stuff. <gasps> do I got to do everything around here? Here comes Cooper with a little John Deere tractor, the 4840. I haven't even got to drove it yet with his new tennis shoes on. Then I got Cole sneaking up behind me with a skid loader. I don't know how well you can see this, guys, but we're going to hook up to the planter. Seems like we just put the planters away not very long ago. Now we're getting them out again. The cycle of viciousness. It's always nice when you forget a cylinder's off and you hit the hydraulics cover everything <laughs> over the door got on the wall got on that trailer oh man i bet the tractor is a little low on hydraulic oil now The corn and the soybeans don't get along very well when they're together inside. So we got the corn on this side, we got 10 boxes. This is gonna be a thousand acres of corn right here. And we got all our soybeans over on the other side. This also helps us not get confused when you come in here at 11.30 at night and you're looking for something, you don't accidentally grab a corn box and bring it to a soybean field. All these black boxes are, like this one here, it says it's 45 units. What 45 units is, it's 45 of these bags. So one of these bags is about 60 pounds. So this particular one here, it looks like we have uh, 2,250 pounds of soybeans in there. So that's all these are. We can just load these up on our seed tender a lot easier. And back in the day, you used to have to use bags to fill your whole planter. But now, thanks to seed tenders, we can use these boxes. And every unit of soybeans is one acre. So this box will cover 45 acres of soybeans. And then when it comes to corn, one unit does around 2.3 acres. So this is uh, 106 to 110 acres in a box. So now that I got that stuff taken care of, I need to get back to jackhammering, but Ron's catching up to me. We have the driveway. Those scale used to be right here. So the driveway was kind of built up for the scale. But now that the scale has gone, I think we can get rid of this. I'm gonna have Ron come in here and he's gonna blade this down so that way it's just level. We're 
broom, driving me semi. Oh, sorry. Broom, broom, driving me lorry. I can run great better in second, the faster it is. Sure. But I'm, when you're on gravel, it's so rough. Mm -hmm. So you're just bouncing all over too, you know, and it's just, gravel's tough to grade. Oh, I can see that. I think behind us, right on this hillside, there's a finger that comes down, like in these low spots. And once they get like that, I mean, you could disc it in, but it, it don't fill them in like you're supposed to. It, it, no. it just, they, you get a gully washer and it's right there again. You gotta flat, flatten it out again. All right, I'm gonna try to leave you guys in here. It's so windy outside, I'm afraid you're gonna blow away. But we're gonna try to strap down them uh, downspouts. Whoa! <laughs> Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. What's happening? These things are shaking really bad in the wind. we're gonna do that hole took me about an hour to dig with this jackhammer so I'm gonna just go around here I guess for the next few hours we're gonna go everywhere in this inner circle I'm gonna try to break it up I am beneath the concrete right there and I do have Ron's permission to use the excavator to get all the rubble out of here so hopefully at morning time when Ron gets back he'll just have this outer ring he'll have to dig out and then we'll be able to get this done huh? I guess here we go, Pinocchio. We got something giving us the old leaky leaky. We'll try the excavator. Never driven a cat before. <whistles> beep beep. Whoa. Okay, Ron, you got this thing set up in hardcore mode. What do these do? What? What the heck? <laughs> so these go forward and back, but so does this. This is supposed to be my thumb. Gotta be a way to switch that. Oh, Ron has that on the thumb. Interesting. That uh, makes sense. The thumb. The thumb is ran by a thumb. Hold up. We need the assistance of this tool because Ron speaks a different language than I do when it comes to the excavator. And yo no hablo caterpillar controls. Yo no aprendo hoy. Okay, let's try this again. So much better. Tend the garden with me We have so many seeds to sow